Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of our slash tales from tech support. In today's episode. First line service desk doing sys admin work with SSL certificates. So Tinker's construct is now on Minecraft 1.16, did you know? Oh really? Lesson learned. Don't be organized. I swear I'm a highly educated person. Can't log into the computer. Before we get started make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. First line service desk doing sys admin work with SSL certificates. I'm first service desk, working for a mid-size company, around 200 users. I really mean that. There's no one else, just me, single person. I'm taking a break from ITIL process management actually. I went back to SD, wanted to do technical stuff again. Today was the day we had a wildcard SSL certificate expiring. We host multiple different portals, some used only internally, some for external users and customers. All depending on that single certificate. The responsibility for these websites is split between IT, web dev team, and couple third parties. We don't have any sys admin in-house. Two of them have quit few months back and are head of IT outsourced whole infrastructure management for on-prem stuff. I spent whole day tracking down different people responsible for servers hosting these websites, coordinating their efforts, or installing new certificate myself where I could and had access to. I even answered a call from a third-party technician, definitely better paid than me, who couldn't install the certificate to IIS. Using OPENCIL, I helped him merge .crt and .key files to .pfx, which seems to be the format IIS understands. I stayed an hour longer, on a task force call with management and another third party, the one responsible for infrastructure management, figuring out couple last bits. Including our VPN solution, yes, in parts it relies on the same certificate as well. Before the call ended, I heard this from the director of IT, okay, you can drop off now if you want. And they just continued talking about other stuff. No pat on the back. No thank you. Just you can drop off. The next time we have a major fire to put down, I'm not gonna move a finger. I'll just log a ticket, cause I'm first line. Or possibly by that time I'll be working somewhere else, where going the extra mile is more appreciated. So Tinker's Construct is now on Minecraft 1.16, did you know? Oh really? I work the hell desk for the German parliament, so lots of office workers and politicians on the older side call. This guy was a breath, a wisp, a delightful gust of fresh air. Caller calls, has a problem we both kinda forgot, and while I remote in and do my thing to fix it, it was a longer call, we start talking. He seems to be in my age group, turns out he's 10 years older, I'm 25, but close enough, so I shot my shot. Me, so this is kind of like insert feature Minecraft has. Dude, who I see. Haven't played Minecraft in a while, loved it though. Me, pumping my fist in silent triumphia, yeah, I don't really play vanilla MC either anymore. Mods though. Chef's kiss. Dude, I played with mods too. Me, oh, which ones? Dude, lists mods. Me, neat. Oh, Tinker's Construct, a popular tool forging mod, is on 1.16, at that point newest MC version now. They changed some stuff. You can just make casts out of sand now. Dude, oh, really? Awesome. We go on for a bit until his problem is fixed, then hang up. That was one of those rare, very nice calls. Treasure those, guys. Lesson learned. Don't be organized. About two weeks ago one of the managers raised a ticket about a new starter. This person wouldn't be starting until June 1st. In normal circumstances I'd not do it yet, but I found myself with time on my hands, so I set him up. Created the user, assigned licenses, set up the laptop, set up the profile, assigned training, amended policies, and begun the induction process. 
All in all took me about four hours. I commented to my colleague this is the earliest I've ever set a new starter up. I feel so organized. His reply knowing our luck he'll not turn up. I had to email said manager for a clarification so I can amend the policies correctly. Her reply I think we need to hold off on anything for new starter. He hasn't replied to HR and if we do not hear from him by tomorrow evening his offer is rescinded. I laughed for a solid minute when I saw that. Serves me right. I swear I'm a highly educated person. The year, 2020. The location, a mid-sized non-profit based in central PA. I was working for a local MSP, and we provided services to dozens of customers. Since the start of the pandemic I had been working remotely, and this one client decided it was going to partially reopen and requested on-site support for four hours, two days a week. I of course jumped at the opportunity to leave my house and have actual human interactions. After all, the offices would be on occupancy restrictions and mask mandates were in effect. My very first day on-site, one of my favorite users, with whom I've worked with remotely for nearly a year, calls me into her office to tell me her wireless mouse isn't working. Now she doesn't just say my wireless mouse isn't working. Instead, she says, so I used to only have one little USB thingy for my keyboard and mouse, but I must have lost one for the mouse cause it doesn't work anymore. Intrigued, I pick up her mouse and, lo and behold, it wasn't turned on. I flip the switch and, poof magic sauce. She swears she did that and it worked for a minute and then it didn't. I told her sure with a smile and went back to my little office space. Shortly after going back into my office, I got a call to head to one of the residential homes that the client I was working for serviced. I headed out. I arrived back at the main office about an hour later when I was immediately approached by the same user. I told you. Not two minutes after you left the mouse stopped working again. She shouted almost boastfully. I followed her back to her office, flipped the power switch, light came on, and then faded immediately. Dead batteries. I proceed to open the battery compartment, remove the single AA battery, and replace it with a new one. Good as new. She was in shock. She thought the mouse was powered by movement and never knew it had a battery. As I laughed and joked, she said I swear, I'm a highly educated person. Of course I believe you. I replied as I smiled behind my mask and walked away. Can't log into the computer. Long time lurker here. This happened to me at my first IT job, and this was about 10 years ago. I'm still new to the company learning everything and get a call after lunch about not being able to log in. I tell the user I'll be right over to help. I get to the user's desk, which was a part of the main reception desk with other users sitting by her, and she says she can't log in and proceeds to press buttons on the calculator on the desk and nothing was working on the screen. To put this in perspective this was just a regular calculator with a small LCD screen. I said let me help you and pulled out the keyboard tray and asked her to try now and confirmed her logging in successfully. Kept it professionally with her as she was a little embarrassed and went on my way. Easy take it close.